Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Sydney for the third in the final leg of his three-nation tour. Apart from being a member of the Quad Grouping, India is also Australia's largest source of skilled migrants and the second largest source of international students. This morning, Narendra Modi met Australian CEOs and eminent personalities. He will also address the Indian diaspora at a community event. Thousands are expected to flock to see Prime Minister Modi. Attended by Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, the Olympic Park Arena event is attracting supporters, Modi supporters from across the nation. A chartered Qantas flight rebranded as Modi Airways is bringing in fans from Melbourne and Prime Minister Modi Express's express buses are also being chartered from Queensland. Both India and Australia are strong, vibrant, secular and multicultural democracies. They both have a free press and independent judicial system and the English language. That is an important link here. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl spoke to former Australian Senator and CEO of India Australia Institute. Listen in. Diaspora Connect is a major focus of Prime Minister's visit. He's going to address uh, the Indian diaspora here in Sydney in a mega event. You're part of the Indian diaspora. How do you see the Indian diaspora being that living bridge between India and Australia? Well, I think this is where the Indian diaspora in Australia really uh, carries two hearts. They carry their home here in Australia and their home in India. Mm. And they carry that with them here whilst living in Australia. Mm. Also, recognising since uh, Prime Minister Modi's last visit in 2014, our Indian diaspora here has grown exponentially, nearly to a million now, mm. making it one of the fastest growing uh, diasporas out of all in our multicultural fabric in Australia. And that cultural diplomacy, building those people-to-people -people links, mm. is really what is going to drive a deeper Australia relationship, particularly in the business sense. Mm. Uh, and I think that's so significant and why it's so important that uh, there is an engagement mm. for uh, Prime Minister Modi with the diaspora whilst he's here. Mm. Of course, he did do that last time as well when he visited in 2014. Mm. And I recall that visit. In fact, I was there at that visit uh, at uh, our Sydney Olympic Park, mm. uh, where you know he, he really was there in front of a crowd of over 20,000 people. Mm. I understand that that's going to be repeated if not more than 20,000 this 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 evening which just shows you the strength of um, interest in Australia India relations uh, beyond the sort of the hard power military uh, and political geopolitical sense but right down to the cultural and people to people links how much china is a worry for australia because as you pointed out uh, when it comes to border issues it has been something that has led to um, the relationship between India and China going southward. So essentially, how does an average Australian or the Australian authorities see uh, the aggressive Chinese posture in the region? Well, I think a China's assertiveness is, is there uh, outside of uh, an international rules-based order. Mm. Now, what Australia and India have in common is, is the rule of law, international law, uh, wanting to be part of multilateral organisations, things like the Quad and ASEAN and uh, uh, all of the rules that go along with playing in that domain. And I think that that sort of assertiveness that China has displayed is it has been a little bit outside of that. Now, that's not to say that, um, that there shouldn't be some sort of dialogue to ensure that we do have and, and can sort of help shape the type of Indo-Pacific region we want to see. Mm. But for now, uh, the countries that are really playing by the rules and that want to continue to do so and have a stronger relationship to, do, to help shape the region are Australia and India. Mm. There's so much that we can do together to really ensure we have a peaceful and stable Indo-Pacific region. Prime Minister Modi will hold bilateral talks with his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese tomorrow. Both sides will build on the annual leader summit held in New Delhi and discussions at the G7 summit and quad leaders meeting in Hiroshima. The leaders will likely focus their deliberations on trade and investment, people-to-people -people links, renewable energy and defence and security cooperation. The Australia-India relationship was upgraded to a comprehensive strategic partnership on the 4th of June 2020.
In 2021, India was Australia's sixth largest two-way goods and services trading partner and fourth largest goods and services export market. Australian government data further states that the two-way goods and services trade with India was over $34 billion in 2021. And for more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhant Sibbal is now joining us live from the Kourous Bank Arena in Sydney, where Prime Minister Modi will address the Indian diaspora event soon. Siddhant, thank you so much for joining us. Prime Minister Modi met CEOs, met Australian imminent personalities as well. What can you tell us about that to begin with? Well, Hem, I'm standing right now in this uh, the stadium where the Indian Prime Minister is going to address. Uh, if my camera person can show you the enthusiasm, the energy and the number of people who are sitting here in this very hall. This is the hall where the Indian Prime Minister is going to address the, uh, the members of the diaspora. We know that he has been doing uh, uh, such events in the past as well, addressing the diaspora. But there has been a strong connect within the diaspora when it comes to Indian Prime Minister. Uh, approximately 20,000 people are present in this very stadium. Uh, I can describe the feeling only uh, in words, but you need to be here to understand the feeling. A uh, lot of energy. Let's speak to the members of the Indian diaspora who are here. Ma'am, uh, welcome to Vyond. My question to you is, how do you feel taking part in this event? Very, very good feeling. I am welcome to Modi ji and all people coming together. Very fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to add something? How do you feel being here? Very happy. Very so, happy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, uh, there is a lot of crowd uh, who can, of course, uh, talk to us. Modi! 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 So, how do you feel being part of this event? I'm excited to proud of this moment. And, sir, where are you from? Which part of Australia? This is Australia. This is the part. Have you been been in uh, other diaspora events of Prime Minister in the past? Prime Minister has been to Sydney in the past as well. Yes, but uh, yes. We, never, we never attend that moment. This is the first time we attend this moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, did you welcome the Prime Minister when he came uh, at the hotel? Would you like to add something when it comes to the diaspora event which you are part of? You welcomed the Prime Minister when he came? Yesterday we went there and we are very excited there. And we welcome him. We enjoyed the situation. Uh -huh. And we are very happy to welcome him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let's speak to other uh, members of the Indian diaspora. But there are a lot of uh, uh, patriotic uh, sloganeering here. Sir, would you like to say something? We have flown from Brisbane and very uh, pleased to be here to see Mr. Modi. And this is my son, he's excited. When he was just a six month old, he was seeing Modi and now today he wants to see Modi again. Uh -huh. So we are eagerly waiting to meet the Prime Minister. Uh -huh. It was an awesome time. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you Sydney for organizing this. Uh -huh. Let's speak to other members of the diaspora. Sir, uh, any comments? Yeah, we actually here the first time to see Modi. Uh, we are from Sydney here. But we always watch the beyond and special uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so so clearly the there is a lot of enthusiasm of for the by the diaspora here trying to welcome the prime minister with full force full energy but essentially when it comes to uh, the diaspora events we have seen in the past as well there's a lot of crowd but essentially if we talk about australia there's a huge number of indian diaspora which is seen as a living bridge between India and Australia uh, uh, and the focus of the Prime Minister will be to of course uh, talk about India's growth story here in Australia during this uh, diaspora right. event. Right. Well, Sidhan, thank you so much for getting us the voices from the Indian diaspora there. Lots of enthusiasm, lots of excitement of course. That being said, though at this point I feel like maybe I don't need to ask this question what can you tell us of the significance and of course what's planned after this event and also the bilateral the most crucial bilateral that is expected tomorrow between the two Prime Ministers Beyond is now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move